the missing putty with flaps. Every morning, Bunny wakes up and uses her putty. Bunny loves her putty. She likes to sit on it all day, and she takes her putty everywhere. One day, Bunny loses her putty. It's not in the house and not in the garden either. Maybe I left a putty with one of my friends. Bunny thinks. Bunny heads to her friend's house to look for her lost putty. Knock knock. Are you using the potty? Bunny asks. Yes, but I'm almost done. You can open the door. Who's sitting on the potty? You think. Hi, Tiger. Bunny says. I've lost my potty. Is it in there? No, sorry, Bunny. There is no sign of your potty here. Tiger answers. Knock knock. Is this potty occupied? Bunny asks. I'm sitting on it, but you can come on in. Who's sitting on the potty? Hi, cow. Have you seen my potty? Cow looks around and says, "No, you didn't leave your potty here." Tiger and cow are done using the potty. They're going to play in the garden, but Bunny still can't find her potty. Maybe it's underneath the slide. Cow says, "Have you stopped by anyone else?" Tiger asks. "No, not yet." Bunny thinks. She she quickly runs to the house of her third friend. Knock knock, are you using the potty? Bunny asks. Yes, but that's okay. Come in. Who is sitting on the potty? Hi, giraffe. Is my potty in there with you? Bunny asks. I really need to use it. No, your potty isn't here. Giraffe says. But why don't you use a real potty? You can never lose a real potty. Bunny can't wait any longer. She runs home. Knock knock. Hey, Bunny. We found your potty. Cow says. It was in the shed. Says giraffe. Are you using the real potty? Tiger asks curiously. I am. You can open the door. Bunny shouts. Using the real potty for the first time isn't so bad. When Bunny is done, she flushes flushes the potty. Then she washes her hands. Bunny still loves her little potty, but she doesn't need it anymore. Her potty now has a nice spot in the garden. From now on, Bunny always uses the real potty. The end.